Hey everyone, Forrest here with Fofo Astro, and today I want to go into a little bit more detail on the new observatory that I'm thinking of building. I don't have a 3D model to show you, I don't have anything like that. The main goal of this video is just to show you all where my head's at and talk a little bit more about the project. So the first thing I want to start with is talking about why do this. Well, I'm doing this for two reasons. The first is that the current observatory, the big observatory out at my parents' house, has a lot of water damage. It wasn't built very well because it was my first construction project and it's just too big. It was built at a time when I wanted to operate things in person. It has a warm room and a cool room and I wanted to be in the warm room operating the observatory. And those were the mission objectives and the goals behind that building. And those just aren't my goals anymore. I operate it remotely and it's just too much maintenance. The fact that it start, it just needs a lot of work. And so I honestly budgeted the amount of work that I wanted to put into that one to kind of remodel it and bring it up to speed. And it was almost the same amount of money to just build a new one. So that's reason number one. Reason number two is that I want to show you all how to build an observatory. Obviously not a step-by-step -step guide, but just take you along on the journey of doing this whole thing. This spring, you all will remember, those of you who've been with the channel for a while, you'll remember that I promised you that I would build an observatory at my current house. And it was gonna be a little four by four foot, purely remote observatory. This one's gonna be a little bigger, unfortunately, but that was what I wanted to do for you all. We found out we were moving, things got canceled, and so that project was canceled, essentially. We, we didn't do it, like I said in that the last video of that series, I think it was part five. Um, so this is a way that I can kind of bring all those goals together and really, I think, deliver some great stuff to you all as some content as well as to myself in having a building that's way easier to operate. So that's the why. Let's get into the mission objectives of this project because I have come up with uh, three of them, three main goals with this whole project. Goal number one is to build this thing as well as I can. I told you all I'm moving. I'm actually moving to the land that's next to the observatory. So I, it's on my parents' land. My wife and I were able to buy the plot of land next to my parents, which is shares a field with the observatory, which is awesome. So I want to build this new observatory to last 20 years, 30 years, as long as we're going to be in that home, which is going to be a really long time. So that's the first goal, build it really well, stretch my construction muscles a little bit that have grown quite a bit since that first project. That's goal number one. Goal number two, is to use slash reuse as much from the old build as I can. And this is a really important one for me because I have a lot of sentimentality with that old observatory and I also want to save some money. So I think that th this goal really helps in both those ways. Um, so here's some things that I'm thinking of. For one, the foundation. You all know, or I'll, I'll throw a photo on the screen right now to show you that the current observatory is standing on six concrete pillars or piers or I don't know the technical term, pillars, piers. Just don't want you to think when I say pier, I mean the pier that the telescope goes on. Six piers that the building sits on that are about four feet below the ground. And the reason that you go four feet down is to get below the frost line. So as Montana freezes and thaws and freezes and thaws, the building doesn't move. I really don't want to redo that. It was a lot of work. We had a surveyor out to come level the tops of them. A lot of work went into that, so I want to keep that. So we're going to keep those six piers as the foundation for the new building. Pro tip, I talked about frost heaving and snow lines in our previous observatory build guide, but definitely check that out if you are thinking about building an observatory in a snowy, cold region. You really want to take foundation building seriously. All right, so that's one thing I want to reuse. I think I can also reuse the trusses. Um, Obviously can reuse all the solar equipment, which is awesome. So a lot of the stuff will get reused, which is fantastic. Um, on the note of reusing it, I'm making everything smaller. And that's a big thing is the size. The way that I'm going to reuse the pier supports with a smaller building is currently there are six pier supports. Soon, only four of them are going to be holding up the building. And the other two are going to be holding up the supports for the roll-off roof. Somehow the dimensions just worked that way. I'll show you all the 3D model once I get it mocked up, but it's pretty awesome that I can actually reuse that much of the material. So all six will be used, four of them to support the building and the other two to support the roll off roof. Which brings me to the dimensions of the new building, which I've landed on as 10 by eight feet. That's how uh, the footprint of the building. So it's gonna be what, 80 square feet, super small, right? Um, that's what I landed on for the new dimensions is 10 by eight and that uses that whole support system perfectly. So that's objective number two is reuse as much as I can. 
Objective number three is to make it smaller, like I already said, and remote only. So no more objective to be in it. In fact, I'm thinking of making the whole thing from floor to ceiling four or five feet, probably four, so that I can actually like stand over it and see everything. And obviously that presents some concerns. I have to open the roof in order to stand up in the building. It's gonna have a little mini door, which is gonna be really cute. Um, I'm kind of excited about that. I think four foot doors are kind of adorable. So it's gonna have a four foot door. Um, but the whole goal here is that if I need to do some simple maintenance, I can crawl around on the floor and kind of hunch over and treat it like a basement crawl space. But for big stuff, I would just open the roof and use that. Obviously the roll roof motor that the old observatory used, I'll be reusing that on the new one. So again, most of the electronics and solar equipment and all that is gonna get reused over to the new one. Um, so that's kind of what I'm thinking. Those are really the three main things. Build it really well, uh, reuse as much as I can and make it smaller. My budget in my mind right now is about $1,000. We're gonna see how that goes. That's obviously assuming the foundation's done. 1,500 maybe, um, but pretty affordable is my goal. Again, we'll see how that all goes with reusing some things. Again, I'm reusing a lot, so uh, a fresh build would not be that cheap. Um, but that's that's the target. That's kind of the goal of what I'm going for. Um, but anyway, again, I was going to remodel the whole thing and that was going to end up costing pretty much that much just to fix a lot of the issues with the existing one. And I'm fixing issues on a building that I'm really not attached to anymore and I, I really wanted to get out of there. So anyway, that's kind of where I'm at. Hopefully that makes some sense as to why I'm doing this what my thoughts are. In the next video, it might be a little bit of time before we get into it, a next video in this project, um, I'm gonna go into and actually show you guys some of the 3D model. I haven't started it yet, but I wanna get this in SketchUp and really look at how to do it. Kinda do what I did with the mini observatory build. Um, I think in part three or something, I gave you all the SketchUp model to look at that, but I wanna do that with this one as well. So, with all that said, I need to ask you all a couple quick favors. Number one, if there is some part of this build that you are really curious about, you're building your own observatory and you've been kind of confused as to how part of it happens, let me know in the comments. I really want to build uh, videos built around what you all are looking to learn. No guarantees, but if there's a lot of people saying the same thing, I'm definitely going to focus on those areas more in my build guide. Second thing is, what else do you want to learn with Astro? I feel like I have a lot of things in my head that are all bouncing around, but I'd really like to know what you all are looking to learn, not just in observatory building, because that's obviously what we've been focused on for a while, but just Astro in general. So let me know that in the comments as well. The last thing I'd ask for, if you're getting some content out of this, I'd love you to hit that like button. I'm trying to make my channel grow a little bit so that I can eventually monetize and you know make something out of this YouTube thing um, on the side here. So I would really appreciate you all hitting that like button. If you also like this video and you want to follow along, hit the subscribe button down there in the corner. And lastly, clear skies, happy shooting, and I wish you all the best with your astro photography. I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks.